Today we're gonna make a classic highball, the Whiskey Ricky. For this drink, you're gonna need a Collins glass, a graduated double jigger, a spoon straw, or a regular straw, a citrus juicer, and a cutting board and a small knife. This drink uses rye, soda water, and lime juice. James Bond drank a lot of whiskey in the books, but he really only drank rye once. In Dr. No, before heading out on a mission in the middle of the night, Bond cracked open a pint of Canadian Club rye and started making highballs of soda water and ice. He drank about half the bottle before his co-conspirator Quarrel met up with him. Bond was drinking these whiskey sodas alone, which means unlike the Vesper or some other drinks, he wasn't drinking it because he was playing a character or trying to draw attention to himself. It was just something he enjoyed when no one else was watching him. And although Ryan soda is a good drink, if Bond had only added a little lime, he would have had himself a Ricky. A Ricky is a classic highball that dates back to the 1880s. The drink was invented by Joe Ricky, a late 19th century lobbyist, and he would have bartenders make it for him and any Capitol Hill buddies he happened to be entertaining. The drink was made particularly famous at Shoemaker's, a DC area bar that was the home away from home for the legislative branch. The drink was originally whiskey, lime juice, ice, and soda water. Joe Ricky insisted on using whiskey. He constantly had to contend with bartenders and drinkers wanting to make the Ricky with gin. Gin and lime are perfect together, which could be why the gin Ricky is the more famous of the Rickies. It's harder to get whiskey and lime to come together without a third party like ginger beer. There's something about the tart bite of the lime that wants to fight against the caramely sweetness of the whiskey. So in this drink, the best way to get him to play in concert is to give him a healthy dose of soda water. The result is a bright, tart, soothing highball that's perfect for instilling you with the liquid courage needed for a pre-dawn raid on a supervillain's island, or buttering up some congressmen, or just bracing yourself to talk politics in general. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my lime juice. That way it's easier to pour when it comes time to measure. As with most highballs, we're gonna build this one in the glass. And we'll start by filling the glass halfway up with ice. Next, we're gonna measure two ounces of rye, add that to the glass. With this jigger, that's two pours. Then measure three quarter ounce of lime juice, add that to the glass. Pop in your spoon straw and give it a quick stir. Top it off with soda water. Usually with highballs, you wanna aim for a two to one soda to booze ratio, but this one benefits from a good amount of soda. So you may wanna push it to three to one. And that's all there is to it. The Whiskey Ricky. The original Ricky. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.